Welcome everyone to the Denver Broncos franchise on Madden 20. This is the game we've been waiting for since the offseason. It's week two and the Broncos are on the road to take on Jesse Heikinen and the Miami Dolphins. The top two quarterbacks taken in this year's draft go head to head today. Both teams enter at 0-1 and one rookie is going to lead their team to their first win of the season. The consensus top quarterback in last year's draft was of course UCLA quarterback Jesse Heikinen, who put together a decorated college career, winning a Heisman Trophy, nearly winning a national title game, but certainly solidifying himself as the top franchise quarterback prospect in this last draft. Now his debut did not go as planned, it was spoiled by William Rivera, another first round rookie quarterback who was taken by the Jets. Of course with us looking for a new franchise quarterback, the Broncos selected Adam Kane at number 7. It wasn't the most popular pick but he is now the starter and had some good moments back in week 1 but threw 3 interceptions, completed less than half of his passes, he still has a lot to prove but there were some positives to take away. And now he'll get a chance to prove himself against the quarterback that everybody was hoping would come to Denver. The stage is set here in week two, Heikinen versus Kane. Here in rainy Miami, Florida, it's time to play some football. Here we go! The Broncos will get it first and back deep is the rookie Damian Charles. Across the 20, he angles inside and breaks a tackle before he stopped at the 27. Adam Kane in the offense began in the shotgun, first and 10. It is a give up the middle on the first play to Royce Freeman. He does not get much. Freeman had some trouble getting going back in week one. And out to the air for the first time. Kane short and incomplete. It goes through the hands of Deshaun Hamilton. And it's third down. A motion fant across the formation. We're seeing a lot more pre-snap motion in this new offense. And Kane on third down connects with Fant, and that's a first. Fant had five grabs back in week one, and he's looking to take over this starting tight end role permanently. Setting up the screen. Big play, J.D. McKissick, who went 75 yards for a touchdown a week ago. Has a couple here to set up another Bronco third down. Now needing six, they isolate Sutton left. Here's Kane, he'll fire this one downfield. Fant is there but can't make the catch. It is knocked away by Xavier Howard. Miami's turn now on offense. Those of you that watched the Kalispell Dynasty will remember Jesse Heikinen as the star quarterback who took his talents to UCLA where he dominated basically from day one. He nearly won a national championship, came up short against NC State as a junior, the same season where he became the Heisman Trophy winner. In his senior campaign, he was hurt final game of the regular season, did not play in the conference title game, and ended his career with 90 passing touchdowns and just 10 interceptions. He's still looking for his first NFL touchdown as he makes his second career start and hands the ball to tailback Kenyon Drake who maybe gets one. Heikinen did have one interception in his debut in the NFL as Drake carries again. They get a bit more space on this carry. Third down now. Devontae Parker on the inside. And Heikinen's first throw is on target. First down ahead to the 20-yard line. Kenny Stills. Heikinen stands at 6'5", has a very good arm, but we're not seeing it much here early as Miami tries to establish this running game. They did select Sharquez Towns atop the second round, but he's not getting much play time. Third and seven, cut underneath by Mike Gesicki, and he's stopped by Bryce Callahan for a third down stop. Drive number two now for Adam Kane. It's first and ten. They'll try Freeman again, but immediate penetration in the backfield. Garrett Bowles whiffed on his block attempt. Second and long now, drifting back, and Kane's got to throw this one well out of bounds to set up a third and long. The offensive line was a little bit better than I expected back against the Chargers. Some struggles here early now as Kane is flushed. Good coverage, he'll throw this one away. So a good job by Miami here with their defense. Still scoreless here as the fourth possession of the game begins. It's play action for Heikinen. 
Plenty of time to throw as he fires toward the sideline. It's complete again to Stills for about seven. Trips left for Miami. Parker on the inside. Heikinen needs four. Launches downfield and Parker is there to make the catch in Bronco territory. It's a big pickup of 29. They get the matchup there against Will Parks, the safety. Parker just outruns him on the corner route, and now Miami in business as Heikinen again fakes. He'll fire to his right, and that is knocked away. Chris Harris defending. Third down again, Parks now the high safety. Launch downfield, deep for Parker, and he skies up to bring this one down. You're kidding me. Just threw it up for grabs. This is a 33-yard connection. It is now goal to go. Fake the run, throw outside, touchdown! Hiking in to Albert Wilson. This is rule the pass and the first touchdown of Jesse Hikinen's NFL career. 7-0 Miami, and we await the first touchdown of Adam Kane's career as Freeman gets a little space, but is tripped up from behind by Jerome Baker. Following the gain of six on the slant now, Cortland Sutton ahead to midfield, and that's a first down. Sutton had eight catches back in week one. He had great plays in the preseason. Expectations are pretty high. Now they dump it off, and Freeman trying to make McMillan miss. That didn't work. And now Royce Freeman down in pain. Broncos without Phillip Lindsay, and now Royce Freeman heading to the locker room. And that means J.D. McKissick steps in. Third and five into traffic. That's a catch. Noah Fant hangs on. Great catch for the young tight end. Without Jake Butt, they're getting good play from Fant. It's now second down from the 35, and Kane is intercepted! The fourth interception of his young season, and it's Raekwon McMillan. Another turnover for Kane. Let's take a look at this one. He has Sutton wide open, and he's trying to throw that way, but doesn't get enough air under this pass. And that leads to another turnover. Four now for Kane. And Miami takes over. There is a catch for Giovanni Bernard, one of the running backs that is keeping Shark West Towns on the bench. Hand off now. And it's Drake running to the right side. And he still is having issues getting yardage. Heikinen almost drew the offsides. Third and 17. Heikinen throws it short. And it's complete but they will not get anywhere close to the first down. Broncos have it again, but Kane's going to have to start protecting the football if he's going to stay this team's quarterback. And he's not getting much help from his ground game here as McKissick redirects and loses four. Still no Royce Freeman out there. It's third and 14. Kane dumps it off. Here goes McKissick across the 25 and taken down a yard shy. Good tackle for Miami. It's fourth down. Six and a half to go here in the first half. Still seven to nothing as the give goes to Bernard and he's taken down by the face mask. That's a big penalty on Vaughn Miller. 47, a new set of downs. Heikinen protected and wide open is Albert Wilson, who cuts toward the sideline and picks up 17 yards. Heikinen very sharp to start, and they're protecting him well, and now gives some running room to Kenyon Drake, who is ahead to the 23. Two deep safeties now for the Broncos, and they'll bring the linebackers. It's thrown up and knocked down by Chris Harris, defending Wilson and it will bring out the field goal team. Denver still scoreless and trail now 10 to nothing. McKissick is the back and Royce Freeman will not return to this game. So another big chance for McKissick who carries on third down and he appears to have enough. And now McKissick is down. Another injury to the Denver backfield and they have one healthy running back left. And that is second-year player Kareth White who checks in and carries ahead 12 yards and a first down. But suddenly this has become a huge spot for the second-year seventh-round pick from Florida Atlantic. Kane across the middle, and there's a connection again with Deshaun Hamilton. Kane now 8 for 14, trying to bounce back. Played his best in the second quarter a week ago. 
play fake. First down, and the pressure is sent at the right time, and he's sacked by Jerome Baker. Back at midfield, clock running down to a minute 34. Kane pressured, fires to the outside and connects. That is River Craycraft as the Broncos do get back into field goal range. Now it's a more manageable third and three. Kane protected and on the mark, cut by Sutton and there's a flag. It'll be a face mask tacking on some extra yardage to this one. It's first down, Broncos. Kareth White, not much room, he's ahead to the 10. You're kidding me, Kareth White is now down. There are four injured running backs for the Denver Broncos. Now Kareth White at the bench and Vaughn Miller's having a word with him. I imagine he's telling him something along the lines of, if you can go, you gotta go, we need you right now. Kareth White has checked back into the game. He's playing through some pain right now. Up top, third down, incomplete. Sutton could not bring it down for the touchdown. And that brings on McManus. They got points at least. It's now 10 to three, not much time until the half as Heikinen and the Dolphins are gonna throw. They're gonna try to make something happen here with what time they do have. No timeouts left for the Dolphins. 18 seconds, pass caught. Gesicki broke a tackle, ahead to the 44, and they'll hurry things up. But there is not enough time to get a spike down or a play off. So we have reached halftime. We haven't exactly seen fireworks out of these two young quarterbacks. We're still seeing a mix of potential and some struggles from Adam Kane. Hopefully he saved his best for the second half. We can confirm that Kareth White is the only healthy running back the Broncos have going into the second half. That is a big story here for the offense. And we'll see the defense out first. Here's a return and a pretty good one. It's rookie Kendall Thompson from Cincinnati. And he brings the Dolphins out to the 41 for Jesse Heikinen, who was very sharp, accurate, and poised in the first half. Here's Heikinen to begin the third quarter. He floats one out and that is picked. It's intercepted by Bryce Callahan. Down the sideline and it'll be a short field for Adam Kane and the offense. Second pick of Heikinen's season. He tried to go outside, but you've got to be careful when you try that in the NFL. It's got to be quick or pretty much not at all. Let's see if Kane can get that first touchdown now as White gets the carry and he's inside the 10 with a burst of speed. Kareth White next to Kane, carries again, but is stuffed on second down by Christian Wilkins. Again, we have third down, three receivers on the field. Kane pressured and throws wildly over the middle. It is knocked down by Baker and we still await that first touchdown for Kane. 10 to 6. Heikinen trying to shake off the interception. Hands it to Drake, who is stopped in the backfield. Another good play for Christian Covington, who has done nothing but great things since joining the Broncos. Second down. In the backfield again, a reunion for Covington. Back to back tackles for loss. He has been so good. It's third and 15. There's pressure again. Hiking in is sacked, and that is William Hayes. It looks like these veterans are helping out nicely on the defensive line. Great start to this half for the Broncos. Still waiting on a touchdown, though, and now Kane misses an open Cortland Sutton. He has been a little wild on some of these short passes. Kane now 10 for 20 on the day. Third and 10, he sends one downfield, has a man there! It's Damian Ratley! Touchdown! There it is, number one for Adam Kane. And it's the deep ball that gets it done. We got the matchup there against Jerome Baker. He should not be covering a receiver that far downfield. It is a Bronco lead now for the first time this season, 13-10. Great second half so far, and Miami takes over, running with Drake as he tries to get closer to a yard per carry. Third and one. On the ground, Bernard, it looks like he has it. Stopped around the 40 by Justin Simmons. 5.33 to go in the third. They'll hand it again. Drake met initially by Miller, and that's going to be another loss of one. 
They're going empty now. Forget about running the football. Hiken in third and nine. Complete! Veteran tight end, Rhett Ellison into Bronco territory. Hiken in now, 16 for 20. One touchdown, one pick. Play fake. Protected. Here's the deep ball. Hiken into the end zone. It's caught! Albert Wilson! The Dolphins are back in front! 46-yard touchdown against Chris Harris. He just out-physicals him in the end zone. Heikkinen with another ball. He just threw up for grabs, and his receiver makes a play. What a job by Wilson. Parker had one earlier. We got ourselves a good one here in week two. 17-13. Offense is getting the big plays now. Here's Kane. Outside. Caught! First down for River Craycraft ahead to the 46. Already cutting the field in half, but a third and seven for Kane. He'll fire one across the middle. It's complete to Hamilton. There's another big connection. Here come the Broncos as Adam Kane looks a lot more comfortable at the 34-yard line. Kane pressured, and this time he can't get the pass off as he's sacked by Godshaw at the 41. Tough spot now, third and 17, Dolphins in press coverage. Kane throwing short, here goes Fant, he'll get yards after the catch and he's very close to the sticks. He stopped at the 25 and it looks like the Broncos will kick the field goal. They will not go for it here. I think you could go either way with a play in situation like this, but they take their points and it's now 17-16. One point game, fourth quarter getting underway. Heikinen and the Dolphins lead. Here's Bernard finding room and he breaks out across the 40. It's a gain of 13 yards. Nicely done as the Dolphins try to increase this lead again. To the air on first down. Heikinen with time and an open man, but a flag is down. This first down catch is negated by a holding call. The Dolphins back up. From their own 40, they give this one to Drake and he'll get a couple, good tackle made. And that forces third and 13. Can the Broncos get the stop? Here's Heikinen, pressure in his face. He can't get away from it and William Hayes brings him down. It's his second sack of this game. Still a one point game, Broncos have it. Trying to take the lead again. Here's Kane outside. Put it on Fant, but he can't bring it in. Incomplete. Third down, Denver. Facing the blitz. Kane stands tall and throws a strike. And that is Sutton at the 38-yard line. Good throw and catch. And that was against Jason Verrett. A pretty good corner. First and 10 now. Kareth White carries. He's getting all the running back snaps now. And he picks up a few more. Again, though, the Broncos having to go pretty pass-heavy. And now a wild one from Kane. He's got to keep those under control. They isolate Sutton again and put a bunch to the right. Third and five. Check down Kareth White. He'll get it. First down into Dolphin territory at the 48. Kane up to 242 yards in the air. Back to pass again. Across the middle. Now Hamilton with the catch. And he's across the 40. On third down, they bring in Andy Janovich. And he leads Kareth White to the right side and throws the block that allows White to pick up the first. They open it up again. Noah Fant slot right. Second down. Heavy blitz. Quick check down. Here goes Kareth White to the sideline. It's a gain of 11. Another first down. Here's that bunch look again. Hamilton, Ratley, and Fant to the right side. Kane across the middle into coverage. That one's knocked down by Jerome Baker. Again, he wanted Sutton for the big play. Four and a half to go in this game. It's third and nine. Here's Kane in trouble now. Drifting right and throwing away. Good job by Miami. They get pressure at the right time. And out comes Brandon McManus. 40-yard try. Right hash for the lead. And this kick is through as Denver pulls ahead 19-17. Denver has put some pressure now on the number one pick. Rookie Jesse Heikinen, four and change to go. He fires across the middle. That's a good throw to Gesicki, and it's another Dolphins first down.
Good start to the drive and they only have to get three. First and 10, another downfield shot, wanting Parker, it's knocked away. Chris Harris got a hand on it. Second down for Miami, still at their 41. Hiking in across the middle, nice catch Bernard. And that makes it third and three. They're going empty here. It's up to Hyken in needing three. Got it on the outside. Albert Wilson with the first down catch. They still need about eight to 10 yards to get in field goal range. And here goes Bernard cutting left. He's inside the 40, picking up six. He's running pretty well today. Two and a half left. Hyken in, quick pressure. He's dropped. It's Vaughn Miller back at the 43. That's the play we've been waiting for. They're not in field goal range from here. It is third and eight. Can the defense get the stop? Hiking in on target, Gasicki. First down, Dolphins at the 34. Now in the eye, they have Bellage, the deep back, carrying and getting a little room as he is tackled near the 30. Second down and six. Here's hiking in. Outside, he throws it and still steps out after making the catch. So it's third and short. Broncos want the stop now. Bellage, no, it's a fake. Flag down. That's a catch. But let's check the penalty. It's not going to count. Holding against Miami, they get Brandon Fusco. Defense trying to get off the field. There would be a 52-yard field goal from here. Needing 11. Across the middle, Devontae Parker first down. Dolphins at the 20. They're in control. A minute 13 left on first and 10. Hiken in. Wants it all here. It is caught out of bounds by Stills and incomplete. Hiken in. Not afraid to take a shot down here. Out of the eye. Hand off Drake. He's through and into the end zone. Touchdown, Dolphins. They've taken the lead and made this a touchdown game for Denver. The field goal now taken out of the equation thanks to Drake finally getting loose. The defense had their chances on this possession, but now the game falls on the shoulders of rookie Adam Kane. This is what it's all about right here. Heikinen led the Dolphins on their scoring drive. Can Kane do the same? Broncos need a touchdown to take the lead. They have 60 seconds. Here's Adam Kane. Underneath, Damian Ratley gets a block from Kareth White, and he's out of bounds, gain of six. Noah Fant slot right. Ratley joins Sutton to the left side. Here's Kane on the outside on target. It's Hamilton with a flag down. And they're going to get Miami for a late hit out of bounds. So some extra yardage. 43 yards to go. Blitz is sent. Rolling right. Kane throws complete. Ratley taken down in bounds. Broncos call timeout. 35 yards to go and 42 seconds to pull it off. Kane pressured on second down and he is dropped. Pressure got right through the middle and that forces a third and 10. One timeout left. Backed up to the 43 yard line. Here's Adam Kane. The throw outside. Caught by Fant and he'll get as much as he can. But it's going to be fourth down in the game on the line right here. Fourth and three. Again, Sutton left, bunch right, here's the game. Adam Kane, down the center of the field, incomplete! And the game is over! The Miami Dolphins will win here in week two! Kane had two players over the middle who were open, but he elected to go downfield for Cortland Sutton. It was a perfect throw, but Sutton could not hang on. And that is how this one ends. Jesse Heikinen takes a knee for his first NFL victory against the Denver Broncos. What a game. I think this one lived up to the hype. It was a very good football game. We saw some greatness from both of these young quarterbacks, but Adam Kane does not get it done at the very end. We should have gone shorter on that fourth down. The first player I looked at was Sutton. I thought he'd get some late separation against that linebacker and pull it in, but that does not happen. And of course, seeing everybody else on the field wide open uh, doesn't help. 
but I was also thinking about the time on the clock there, only having one timeout. I wanted to get as close as possible for good end zone shots, but we don't get a chance there. And we walk out of here with our second loss. So two games in, what are your thoughts on Adam Kane to this point? I thought he succeeded in the same areas today, struggled in the same areas as well as some of those short throws. Now, we lost two running backs in this game. It was not a serious injury for Royce Freeman, but it is broken ribs for J.D. McKissick, so he's going to miss a lot of time. Adam Kane now has one touchdown and four interceptions. The one touchdown coming against a linebacker on a deep threat. So I'd like to see him get some more touchdowns and start to uh, throw those a bit more often, of course. One player that has been impressive so far is Noah Fant. He has eight catches already. He's already looking a lot better than he did as a rookie, and he'll continue getting a lot of targets. Defensively, I would have liked to see our secondary play a little bit better on that last drive for Miami. I think it's a different outcome if we only need a field goal on our last possession. There is a surprise coming out of this game though as River Craycraft now gets the breakout opportunity for week three. He's disappointed in the losses, but he likes that we got a couple throws his way today and he is getting the chance in week three to break out. He had two catches today for 40 yards. He has less than 10 career catches and if he could get this breakout, who knows, he could become a more important part of the offense. Now, I'm probably not going to throw like 15 targets his way. I'm going to still involve everybody else, but he's going to get some playing time and a chance against the Oakland Raiders, both teams at 0-2. Our first win last year was against Oakland. Maybe it'll be the same this year. Although our last game against them, Week 17, was a 28-0 blowout. The Raiders have a couple players out, Brandon Marshall and Tyrell Williams. They do have Derek Carr, Josh Jacobs is finally getting playing time this season, and Antonio Brown at wide receiver. This is probably one of the easier defenses we'll get to face this year, so I expect more from Adam Kane and these receivers. I think we're finding some things we do well on offense, and we've got a chance to be okay this year if we can just do those good things more consistently. And we're going to have a little extra help on offense next week as we welcome back Philip Lindsay. He was hurt last season, injured on the first play of preseason, but now 100% again, Lindsay joins the backfield to give a much needed boost to this ground game. And we'll see that on display when we take on the Oakland Raiders. That is it for today, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the game despite the loss, and please smash that like button if you did. I'll have a lot more of this series coming your way soon. These first two games have been so much fun. So please subscribe, and I'll see you again with the next episode on, let's say, Tuesday or Wednesday. Have a great day, everybody. See you again soon.